Okay, hi all. Welcome to my kitchen. Today is Thursday. It's February 1st. I know um, two days ago when I gave you an update on me <coughs> that I said I wouldn't be doing any more recording this week. Well, this is just going to be a, another fast video. Um, as you can tell, I'm still recovering from my illness. I finished my antibiotic yesterday. Or la last night was the last antibiotic. I still have a really bad cold. Um, we've been in contact with the surgeon. And this week was the wash up. Just because of the fact that I'm not feeling 100%. I'm not even feeling 80% right now. Um, I'm feeling about maybe 54% right now. Um, I'm very stuffy. I'm very congested. And I just, I'm still not feeling my normal self. So the surgeon agreed that I could take this week off from seeing him, but he needs to see me on Tuesday um, to monitor my thumb. And that's just because right now I'm still at a very high risk of infection in my thumb. Now, you might be wondering, do I have a thumb infection in conjunction to what else is going on with my system? And the answer is probably no. What I have is a virus. And um, this is not in infected right now. Um, yeah, it looks uh, wrapped differently. Um, and you can see the white gauze. We've been using white ga gauze on it because I've been having a lot of pain on the tip of my thumb. And that has to do with the fact that I bumped it really, really hard against a granite countertop at um, a venue that I went to Saturday. And I I really injured it Saturday. So it was very, very painful. Um, of course, this one behind me, you all know my husband, Bob. He's been wonderful. He's been taking care of me. He's also called me a pain in the ass which I've probably been for the last, numerous times. like you said, numerous times and probably even worse this week because when I get sick, I get sick. I mean, I, when I'm sick, I'm sick. And he knows I'm not, I'm not fooling um, with him and I try not to give him as hard of a time that I probably do give him and I still do love it, love him. So he's gonna make lunch. <coughs> <coughs> like I said, the videos for this week, this is probably the last one I'm going to do until I see the surgeon on uh, Tuesday. I've been ordered um, bed rest for the next few days just to get over whatever is going on in my system. And as long as this clears my system by Tuesday, I should be okay. Now, you guys are going to start to notice a change in my hair and the reason you're going to see a bigger change in my hair is I am unable to color it. And for me to go and have it professionally done, the stylist that normally does my hair charges me about 350 bucks to color cut and do everything that he needs to do in my hair. And because I'm down to one hand, I can't color it because I would have to put the dye in let it sit, have my husband wrap my hand, try to wash the dye out, shampoo it, then put a second dye in it, let that sit, rewrap my hand, wash that out, and then style my hair. And it has not been easy. And you can, guys can kind of see that my hair is kind of in a wave. And the reason it's in a wave is when I go to style it, I can't really hold it with this hand without causing um, myself significant pain. So I'm going to start to let my hair grow its natural shade, um, which you're going to be, you're going to start to see it really lighten up, but you're also going to start to see more of the gray coverage come out. Um, it's going to kind of look like my beard, but it's going to be in patches through here. So, my husband's about to make us lunch. It's a little bit late 
in the day for lunch. It's 2.30, but I did not sleep well at all last night. Um, so, again, I've been trying to take it more easy and, and stuff. So, that's going to conclude this week's update on how I'm feeling and how I'm doing. I am getting better. I thank you guys so much for your well wishes. I have read them all. I'm sorry I didn't reply to any of the ones that you guys uh, commented on. Um, I think it was Tuesday. Yeah, today's Thursday. So, yeah, it was Tuesday. I just wasn't feeling well enough to um, comment on any of the posts. I was still running a fever, and up through yesterday, I was still running a temperature in the 100s. Now, today I feel like I'm back in the 90s. I might be 99-something right now, and I have been taking Advil. Like, you guys have been giving me good advice. Um, I have been in contact with both my primary physician as well as the surgeon and my primary office is the one that put me on a z pack so i took the z pack for three days to knock this out they think this is an rsv um, virus that i have and the fortunate thing about those kind of viruses is they don't affect what's going on with my thumb and at some point, and I'm not ready to do it right now, but at some point when I take the dressing off, I will address what the thumb actually looks like now. And it is considerably shorter. It's going to be about from where I'm pointing on, on this finger up, it's going to be that much shorter. So it is considerably shorter than this thumb now. Um, and that's just because of the amount of damage that I did when I... I decapitated it. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm going to rest. Um, my husband and I are trying hard not to bounce the virus off of each other. He's been pretty lucky. I've been staying kind of away from him so that I'm not breathing on him. But obviously he has to get really close to change my dressings, which has to occur every day. And we'll, we'll be doing that later on uh, today. So Everybody have a great weekend. I'm not going to post until I see the surgeon on Tuesday, and I'll give you guys an update on what the thumb is doing. Um, like I said, the Cooking with Joel videos have been suspended indefinitely for now. Um, and right now, because I'm not feeling well, we're going to suspend the um, drinks with Bob and Joel for the time being because neither one of us really feels up to drinking. Uh, maybe next week I'll talk about what you guys can do for Super Bowl parties. And there's some great dips that you guys can make for the Super Bowl if you're going to be hosting a party or you're going to be watching the big game and you don't want to be tied to the kitchen. There are some great appetizers um, that you can make for that. You can make uh, the submarine sandwich that my husband did would be great for the Super Bowl. And we'll get into those uh, next week. Now, I'm not going to be able to do any cooking for the time being, but I can describe what and how you need to make the, the dips for your perfect Super Bowl party. So, thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for tuning in. Uh, tune in next time for another uh, Cooking with Joel update. Um, these are going to be updates for quite a while. Um... It's been, this coming Tuesday will be a month since the accident, and I still have a lot more healing to do. This is going to be a very, very long and slow recovery period. So, until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next Cooking with Joel update.